Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know you're to the channel my friends well it took me longer than i thought but i finally made it through the second san certified forensics examiner book registry analysis application execution and cloud storage forensics now if you're wondering to yourselves secret letters aren't you behind schedule for studying for this exam well my friends yes yes i am but let's look on the bright side my car broke down, my girlfriend left me, and Sands Institute took all my money. So I'm basically homeless without any friends, which ironically is exactly what a forensics examiner's life is expected to look like. So maybe I am on track and I just don't realize it. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Let's review some course material. Nice camera action. So there's no chapters in any of these books, which makes it super important to take good notes. So let me share my screen with you guys and show you what my notes look like for book two, registry analysis, application execution, and cloud storage forensics. All right, guys, here is my Excel spreadsheet. The blue color means it's book one and the red color means it's book two. So once I'm done with all the books, I'll sort these by alphabetical order. But right now, let's just take a look at book two. So book two starts off with registry analysis and looking at registry keys. Some interesting keys for forensics that I wanna show you guys is first off, recent docs. And what recent docs registry key location does is that it tracks the last 150 items opened, whether it's a file, or a folder. I'm not gonna jump into the labs. I'm gonna show you guys real world application. So here we're in Registry Explorer and I loaded the ntuser.dat file. So if we go under software, Microsoft, and we'll go under Windows, current version, uh, Explorer, I think it's in here somewhere. Recent docs, there it is. You can see all my recent activity. The most recent file that was opened was the ntuser.dat, which was today. And then it goes down through the list here of all the other files and the folders that I've opened. We can come down through here. You can see the individual extensions. We go to text. You can see all the recent text files I opened up. Yesterday, I opened up a text file called youtube.txt i also opened up some video notes uh infection powershell script so if your computer has been compromised and someone has been snooping around this is a good way to find out when files were opened and closed you can search by a specific time frame if you need to another interesting key is the trust records so for example if your computer is infected with malware through like a trusted document that's using macros and your user says that they didn't enable macros, we can come over here and see exactly what was trusted. Let's jump over to real world application. So if we're under Word, security, trusted documents, trusted records, you can see that I have Word files that I've enabled editing on. So let's take a look at Excel, security, trusted documents, trusted records. And here you can see that I've trusted some macros on this specific Excel file. Now, if your user downloaded a file that happened to be malware and enabled macros, you'd be able to see it here in the trust records location. Now, if we want to audit programs that have persistent capabilities, which is good for if you suspect that you have malware on your system, we're going to audit the auto run registry key. So let's jump into real world application. So if we jump over to the software key, scroll down to Microsoft, 
scroll down to windows then we'll jump into current version and then we'll come down to the run key and over here you can see what applications that have persistence when a user is logged on so that's the run key there's the windows update key uh the operating system so a ton of good key locations to audit a computer so the last thing i want to talk to you about is the windows prefetch file now if you're wondering what that is windows creates a prefetch file every time you run an application for the first time. So let me show you what that looks like. We're actually going to have to use a special tool created by Eric Zimmerman. And that tool that we're gonna use is PECMD, which is a prefetch parser. So if we go over to the prefetch file of our Windows machine, you can see all these prefetch files. So to grab the metadata out of there, what we need to do is download this. And I downloaded it to my F drive. You can see it here, PECMD. So I'm gonna jump into PowerShell. You navigate over to where it's located. We're going to do a dash D for the directory. We're gonna specify the location, which is the C Windows prefetch location, dash Q for quiet mode, and we're going to save it to a CSV file over in my F drive. So we'll hit enter and it'll run through and parse that information for us. All right, so if we jump over to my F drive, you can see I have two outputs. So over here, we have a ton of great information about programs being executed on this live machine in real world situations. So. We have the source file, we have the executable name, we have the hash. So let's see what was ran the most on my machine. All right, so here you can see that I've ran Microsoft Edge 1200 times and I last accessed it today, November 19th. So this is how you parse Windows prefetch. So again, Windows creates a prefetch file every time you run an application. So as you can see here, I've run calculator 57 times, Google Chrome 100 times, we have Firefox, we have Notepad, we have Outlook, Snipping Tool, Teams, a ton of good information in the Windows prefetch. We have when it was last accessed, when it was modified, when it was created. So if we come over to the timeline now, so this is what the CMD output timeline looks like. You have the runtime and executable name. Right now I'm sorting under 2022 of November. So if we just want the day, which is the 19th, we'll hit okay. Here are all the executable names from today. So in Windows 8 and above, there can be up to 1,024 prefetch files available. So that is pretty much it for book two on registry analysis, a quick overview of application execution and cloud storage. Stay tuned. Because in the next video, we're going to talk about book three, which is shell items and removable device profiling. Thanks for watching, guys. If you stuck around to the end of this video, you guys are amazing. I appreciate every one of you that support the channel over on Patreon. Stay tuned for more videos and more updates on forensics analysis. If you want to see anything on tool selection, hit me up in the comment section, hit me up on Discord, and until the next video, I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.